Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insights and indeed information about the board games you might want to have in your own collection. So do you believe that we've got no troubles, life is the bubbles under the sea? Well if so, then here's five things I think you need to know about oceans. Oceans is a game about adaptation and survival in the dark depths of the sea. On your turn you'll play a trait to your species to give them abilities. Then they feed by either attacking or gaining food from the reef or ocean floor. This creates more fish but you don't want them to overpopulate. Each species also ages which allows you to score victory points. Once a section of ocean has been emptied, a Cambrian explosion happens, which lets you do more on your turn, and play more powerful trait cards from the deep. The winner is the person with the most fishes at the end of the game. Thing 1. What's this game actually all about? While Oceans focuses on the survival of your species, specifically set in the sea, um, where you kind of have to learn to coexist and survive at whatever cost that may be to keep your species from going extinct. So you can start out as a variety of different species such as apex predators, sea hoovers, leeches, things like that. And you can add traits to enhance your species um, and make them unique and interesting and find different ways of gaining victory points. Um, the theme here is an unusual one, it's not one you come across frequently, although it definitely echoes Evolution, another North Star Games title. Um, the game this however reminds me the most of is a little bit of Smash Up from AEG, where you're placing more cards onto a particular base to kind of enhance the card that's already available to you, um, and also to kind of make things more difficult for your opponents or to somehow interact with them, so I definitely get that vibe here. Um, overall, I like the theme. I think it knits really well with the mechanics of the game. Is it the most exciting thing? Probably not, but I think you know exactly what you're getting by looking in from the box. I do, however, think if you have a particular interest in science that this game will exceptionally appeal to you. Thing 2. Mechanics. Oceans is a hand management engine building, pretty straightforward type of game. However, what makes it pretty special is the manner in which the cards interact with each other and the variety that are available to you when you play. The interconnectedness of the sea is really reflected well here in gameplay, where you'll find yourself taking fishes from your opponent, but then they also take fishes from you in an effort to survive. And I think it's a really, really cool way of illustrating symbiosis and kind of how animals and plants might actually use each other in an ecosystem. Both aging your species and avoiding extinction are really clever mechanics in my mind. Because in a game like this where you're comboing cards together um, and trying to create an over the top moment, the game asks you to rein in that propensity and instead try and maximise the number of small amount of victory points you can get. So you're given this very specific box in which to work and I think it's a really interesting type of puzzle. I think without it this game would have just been a big old free for all and I think by putting those rules in place really forces you to answer the question that the game is asking, how well can you do this? Um, overall, I have to say the mechanics in this game really reflect the theme as you follow like the life cycle of a species and not only that, it, it's a fun puzzle and one that's very mechanically well put together. Thing 3 on the table. So the ocean trays that come with the game give this game a really stunning table presence. It's bright, colourful, eye-catching and it doesn't need to take up a ton of table space to do it either. It takes about 40 minutes for two of us to play, the setup is really straightforward and the rule book is okay, we did have to look up a few bits and bobs here and there. Um, replayability wise, well this really comes in the form of the traits in the deep trait deck because these are all the unique ones and the deck is very large, very varied and very exciting. You'll find that your game started out similarly but then quickly jump off the deep end. Thing 4. How does this game look and feel? So despite being pretty impressed with the fact that my Kickstarter edition has a different art on each side, I am rather disappointed that none of the sides of the box have art on them. It's actually all just pieces of text. And I think that's really disappointing for anybody like me who stores their games vertically. 
However, beyond that, the artwork in this game is beautiful, smooth, colorful, and it's interesting to look at. I really, really enjoyed it as you kind of explore your way down through the ocean. Um, the game trays that you have that represent the ocean floor really add a lot of depth to the game. I, I think they add a lot to it, but prepare yourself to be festooned with the tiny, tiny, adorable fishes. Thing five, is this game actually any good? Well, I think Oceans is a fine, fine game. It oozes polish, finesse, and it combines mechanics and theme incredibly well. However, I do find that starting out in the game can be a little tough. Um, a quarter of the cards in kind of your starting out deck um, can only make food for themselves on the first turn, meaning you have to be watching what everyone else is playing or maybe get lucky in what cards you have in your opening hand. Now, of course, it's not easy starting a species, so this may be reflecting the mechanic, but it's not the most fun to play through in those times where you do get stuck. But this is just kind of a, a small comment. Um, what is fun in this game, however, is just how interactive it is um, and how representative it is of an actual species. Um, you'll find, you know, your species are codependent or interdependent on other people's species and they'll be dependent on yours. And you can even have species dependent on your own species for survival. It's a really interesting way of doing player interaction. One I think you could actually play quite meanly or quite nicely, depending on your play style. Now, the aging mechanic is both a, a boon and a blessing and it's awful and it's great. Um, I hate it and I love it all at, this, all at the same time because I want, I want with the cards you have, you want to make everything. You want to get all the fishes every round and you want to be able to have them age. But the game just doesn't allow for that and it, it, it forces you to do something else. And I think we're so accustomed in games where you get to play cards and build combos of being able to do ridiculous things that Oceans actually asks you to set back and to do it in a kind of regimented manner. And I think that makes for a really, really interesting puzzle. Um, for me though, the deep cards are actually the meat and bones of this game. Um, and there's a huge deck of them. And each of them, you know, gives you something different and cool and new and exciting to do with your species every time you play. I find that I love delving down into the deck and seeing what I come up with and seeing what madness I can create this time round. Oceans is a really fun and well put together midweight game. And it's one that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. I think it's a very good game. But I'm not sure if it's great. Do I think you should have oceans in your collection? Well, I think if you enjoy something that's kind of light and fun and is very interactive and pretty, then this is a game you probably want to dredge up in your nets. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about oceans, why not shout them off in the comment box below? So tune in again for some more short and informative board game reviews.